Wait, did you hear something? That creak, that rattle, that ghastly groan. There are lots of spooky noises in Arizona, not to mention hauntings, monster-like animals, and paranormal activity that will give you shivers. Explore the state from north to south, from ghostly hotels to ghost walks and haunted towns. Then see if you can sleep with the lights off. Welcome again. Today we have another video for you with spooky facts and legends from Arizona. We don't need to catch a misty shadow in the corner of our eye or watch a door quietly swing open in an empty corridor. Merely listening to these stories sends shivers down our spines. If the surroundings are right, the hair on the back of our necks will naturally stand up because we know something is right behind us. Here are some frightening facts and myths about Arizona that we have unusual stories to tell. The Magallan Monster Arizona, according to some reports, has its own Bigfoot. The Magallan Monster, named after the Magallan Rim, where it's supposed to live, it is said to stand over 7 to 8 feet tall with dazzling red eyes, amazing power, and an odd whistle or otherworldly shriek, as well as a pungent odor similar to that of a rotting fish. The Magallan Monster has been seen all around the state, although descriptions vary. The first sighting of the monster was in 1908 near the Grand Canyon. The beast had long white hair and two inch long razor sharp claws, according to the witness. In a 1940 sighting, the creature's deep set, soulless eyes were noted. Sightings date back to 2006 when a member of the White Mountain Apache Nation claimed to have seen an all black monster wandering the region. Bubonic Plague Bubonic Plague is the most famous for being the cause of the Black Death in Europe during the 1300s. The infection may still be found in the southwestern states, especially Arizona today. The first case was reported back in 2017, and after that, many cases have occurred in the state. During the rainy, warmer months of the year, the plague activity is concentrated at elevations above 5,000 feet. The majority of outbreaks in Arizona happen in Coconino and Apache counties, as well as the Four Corners region. Humans can contract the plague by flea bites or by coming in contact with contaminated animal tissue or body fluids. Before becoming unwell, a guy infected with the virus stated that he handled a dead pack rat while wearing gloves. The sickness is caused by fleas transferred by rabbits and other rodents. As a result, avoid approaching rodent burrows and stay away from sick or dead animals. Domestic animals that are free to wander can pick up plague-infected fleas and bring them home. Tombstone After surviving two terrible fires, mine floods, and a near ghost town abandonment, Tombstone has earned the moniker, the town too tough to die. Despite continuous hardship, it has thrived for more than 120 years. However, with Tombstone's rebirth as a historic tourist destination, the motto has taken on a new meaning. The town's previous residents, it appears, are refusing to go. Countless men and women, many of whom died suddenly and brutally during Tombstone's early decades, refused to let go of their ties to the place they adored. Phantoms haunt the street corners where cowboys used to live and die, and almost every structure in the historic neighborhood has at least one supernatural presence. The Birdcage Theater is maybe Tombstone's most haunted location, where it's not uncommon to have at least one ghostly encounter each day. Canyon Diablo Anyone who thinks Tombstone is Arizona's deadliest town hasn't heard of Canyon Diablo. Canyon Diablo is said to be a place where more men have been murdered in a single year than Dodge City, Abilene, and Tombstone combined. According to the legend, you couldn't walk a block without coming across a crime scene. The town's name, which means Devil's Canyon in English, originates from the gorge on which it was built. This gorge produced an impasse when the Atlantic and Pacific Railroad snaked west into California, needing the construction of a bridge. Sections of the bridge were built off-site and brought to canyon builders, but the bridge came up short due to misreading of the designs suspending work. The rail employees were left with nothing to do as a result of the delay which was aggravated by financial difficulties and the shanty town of Canyon Diablo was founded. Crime was allowed to flourish unchecked. Robberies happened every hour or so. Any railway or stagecoach traveling through the region was expected to be pushed off track. One guy was executed for stopping a wagon bringing the employees wages. Murder was nearly as prevalent. Residents were just as likely to get shot on the street as to get their boots filthy. La Llorona. La Llorona is regarded in virtually every Latin culture 
as a mournful banshee, an angry ghost, and a cursed creature. The name pronounced La Llorona translates simply to the crier, which is exactly what this ghost is reported to do for all eternity. There are several variations of the story depending on where it is recounted, but they all revolve around a mother who murdered two children hundreds of years ago. In one of the more popular stories, a widow with two children living in an impoverished town falls in love with a wealthy man. The man reciprocated her feelings, but he was unwilling to become a father and hence declined to marry the young woman. In her eagerness to be with him, the lady drowned her children in a local river in the middle of the night. As her children's bodies drifted away into the night, the lady raced to her lover's house to tell him what she had done. She told him about the lengths she would go to be with him. The man was terrified and turned away from her. She went insane when she learned her irreversible act had been for nothing. The woman hurried back to the river in the hopes of saving her children, but it was too late. God then cursed her to wander the world for all eternity in pursuit of her drowned children. Skinwalkers The Navajo Reservation is a wonderful spot to visit during the day, especially the area between Cayenta and the Utah border, as well as the area between Arizona and New Mexico. However, it is a bleak location with names like Skeleton Mesa and Mystery Valley. Traveling through the reserve at night should be done with caution since odd occurrences have been known to occur. Although little is known about the Navajo witchcraft, anyone who has lived in Navajo territory would tell you that it is something to be taken seriously. Navajo skinwalkers, according to Native American folklore, may transform into whatever wild animal they want, such as a coyote, wolf, dog, cat, bear, or other creature. They obtain the animal's capabilities while preserving their own intelligence and mental powers. This can result in an extremely dangerous adversary. This mythology is so firmly ingrained in Navajo society that even discussing these terrible beings is frowned upon. Speaking about skinwalkers is thought to attract attention and make you a target of their brutal attacks. El Chupacabras El Chupacabra is another beast that continues to evade science, but has left enough jigsaw pieces for even the most skeptics to wonder. The name, now often called Chupacabra, is a reflection of the creature's distressing activity, which translates as goat sucker. It feeds on the blood of helpless cattle, according to the legend. Tales about Chupi started in Puerto Rico, but swiftly traveled throughout Latin America and up into Mexico, leading some to assume the monsters on the move. In recent years, Sightings have begun to come from as far away as the southern United States, especially Arizona. One of the earliest reports came from a Tucson local who goes by the name Billy Nubian. He was awakened in the middle of the night by the frantic bleats of two goats. When he hurried out to check what was going on, he noticed what he described as a huge rat-like monster pinning one of the goats to the ground in the goat enclosure. When the beast observed him, it turned to face him and gave a terrible screech before fleeing into the darkness, according to Nubian. Window Rock Window Rock is a spiritual location that serves as the Navajo Nation's capital. It shares its name with the city in which it is located in northeastern Arizona, just this side of the New Mexico border. The structure resembles a natural 200-foot-tall sandstone amphitheater with a distinct 47-foot negative space in the center. The Navajo refer to it as the rock with a hole in it. According to the myth, the incredible shape was carved by the wind when the world came into being. The Navajo also think it was home to a gigantic snake who hunted through the gaping hole. He hasn't been seen in a long time, but the gap expanded a little further recently when a massive section was knocked away, implying that the enormous snake may still cross this way on occasion and is growing in size. Black Mist of Casa Grande Mountain while the desert at Casa Grande appears to be quite safe during the day, it can become a very dangerous area after nightfall. Predators come out and find and capture their prey. The rugged, uneven terrain is difficult for even the most seasoned hiker. Desert temperatures may drop substantially overnight outside of major cities. Such conditions tend to elicit bizarre and incomprehensible phenomena, one of which appears to be the mysterious black mist claimed to linger above Casa Grande Mountain, which is located in the town of Casa Grande between Phoenix and Tucson. Visitors to the park report seeing the mist at night on the roads near the mountain's base. They say it is dark and ghostly, and it follows anybody it comes across in the region. Stop and it will consume you, filling you with dreadful unease. Several ideas have been proposed to explain what causes this occurrence, but none of them completely fit the bill. With this, we come to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it. 
please comment down below by sharing such more legends about your state. Before we say goodbye, do subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so you are notified about our new videos. Thanks for watching.